How to Make a Woman Want You Sexually, Guide to Building Her Interest and Sexual Attraction. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. Often, men think that they know exactly what women want, men in sports cars, with big houses, a big wallet, and a bad boy attitude. This might be what the ladies want in movies, but not in real life. It's very different. To know what a lady wants, you need to understand what you need to do to make her want you sexually. Imagine if you knew the secret formula to do this, the one that tells you exactly what women want sexually. The formula would let you know exactly what you need to do to get a woman to fall into your arms. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's as easy as being mindful of your own behavior and adopting steel-proof boundaries. Want to know some more? Well, don't move an inch. Like and subscribe. Let her know that you value yourself. Women respect a man a lot more when they know that they value themselves. Women are naturally drawn to confident guys, and to be confident, you normally need to value yourself first. How do you show a woman that you value yourself, though? Well, you show her by having your own purpose and showing her that you are not afraid to take charge and go after everything that you want in life. You should have your own opinions but be respectful of hers. You have what is called the dominant energy, which means you are always polite, but you don't shy away from saying what you think. Now, to a lady, this screams success, stability, strength, and happiness, which, once they have found in someone, well, they will keep coming back for more. Banter and teasing, having banter with a girl and teasing her a little helps to build that sexual tension between you both. This is obviously something you need if you want a woman to want you sexually. You need to make sure to always be respectful and not cross a line, but also show her that you are able to be funny around her. Girls want guys that make them laugh and that they can be flirty with, so show her this side of you, and she will definitely want you. Women want to be slightly challenged when they are interacting with guys, they don't want it to be easy, which is why they like to be teased and why they admire the bad boys. You can say something along the lines of, are you flirting with me, and then wink, turn around, and walk away. These are all sly ways of showing her that you like her and you want to take things a little bit further. Build an emotional connection, guys often view sex as just sex. To girls, though, it's something that requires trust between two people. They are less willing to have one-night stands or sex with someone that they don't really know, whereas men are much more likely to do this. So, if you want to win a woman over sexually, then you need to build an emotional connection with her. That means getting vulnerable, asking her questions about herself, and then listening to those answers. If you can show her that she can be vulnerable around you, and you can build an emotional connection together, she is more likely to build trust in you and want to get physical. You need to make sure that it is a genuine emotional connection, though, because girls can really see straight through this type of thing. You need to flirt, making a lady want you sexually is so much more than simply just flirting, but you still have to do it. The best flirting happens in private, so try and get her alone before you start. If you don't flirt, then she might start to just see you as a friend, and you don't want to end up in that friend zone. So, try to pull her away from her friends if she's with them, and turn up the flirting. Remember, great flirting starts with a good, unique compliment. Don't be too clingy, it's nice that you like her, and you want to spend time with her, but you need to remember not to be too clingy. It's not something that she will be attracted to because it will make you look desperate. Remember that she is not your girlfriend yet, she is someone that you want to win over, so you need to put that best foot forward. Show her that you are interested in her, but don't turn into someone who's acting clingy or possessive. This tip's very important. Give her space to miss you, sticking to that theme of being clingy, you need to give her space to miss you. When you guys are not together, you want her to be thinking about you because that is what helps build that sexual tension. So, try not to be texting her and phoning her all the time. You need to let her take the lead and text you sometimes. She should also be the one to sometimes arrange the dates and not just leave it all up to you. Basically, you want to give her some of your attention, but you want her to give you some back. Just take a few steps back and don't think that if you are not texting her 24-7 that she will find another person, because the truth is, she's probably thinking about you anyway. Create a sexual atmosphere at the very beginning, a great way to test the water and see how she really feels is to mention sex and see how she reacts. She might blush, brush it off, or even ask you to not mention it again. 
at least then you know where she stands, and you need to know if you guys are on the same page, right? This also shows her from the very beginning that you want more than a friendship, that you want to date her and have a sexual relationship with her. She might then start thinking about you differently, and it could completely transform the relationship. Make sure, though, that you are not pressuring her into sex when she might not want to do it. You want to mention it, but if she does not seem interested, then back off and wait for her to come to you if she wants to. Make yourself her exciting secret, girls really, really love it when a guy is their exciting secret. If you are flirting with her in private and telling her how you feel when no one else is around, then it helps to create that secret relationship, which really excites the ladies. You want to become a part of her life and someone that she turns to when she wants to speak to someone. You want to create that close, secret relationship that she just cannot resist being involved in. So, try texting her at night and taking her aside at a party. This will create a secret romance, and she will want to be involved in it all of the time. Encourage flirting over text, the best time to encourage flirting over text is at night time. You can message her late at night and start getting flirty. It will really make her feel excited, and well, she's going to think about you in a sexy way. This will help to build up that sexual tension, and when you see each other again in person, she will probably mention sex almost straight away. Flirting over text and sending those dirty, cheeky text messages makes a girl feel like she's in control but also gets her excited for what is to come. So, don't shy away from it. Ask her out, you've put in a lot of hard work, and now is your time to ask her out so that you make your physical moves. You could ask her out over a text message, over the phone, or in person, and at this point, she will be so happy that you have both finally reached this stage. Plan a romantic date, okay, she said yes. Now, do not drop the ball when it comes to planning the date. You want her to want you sexually, and as I mentioned at the start of the video, girls need an emotional connection and they need trust if they are going to get close to a guy. So, you need to take her on a nice date, and for the first one, it should probably be out for dinner. You can pick a nice restaurant and try to book a table that is in a more private, secluded area so that you guys can both flirt in private, with no one watching you. After the date, you need to continue doing these steps, and eventually, she will not be able to resist any longer, and well, she will really, really want you sexually. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. This gets a girl sexually hooked on you, dating, hook UPS, seduction and attraction, guide for men. Often, men think that they know exactly what women want, men in sports cars, with big houses, a big wallet, and a bad boy attitude. This might be what the ladies want in movies, but not in real life. It's very different. To know what a lady wants, you need to understand what you need to do to make her want you sexually. Imagine if you knew the secret formula to do this, the one that tells you exactly what women want sexually. The formula would let you know exactly what you need to do to get a woman to fall into your arms. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's as easy as being mindful of your own behavior and adopting steel-proof boundaries. Want to know some more? Well, don't move an inch. Like and subscribe. Let her know that you value yourself. Women respect a man a lot more when they know that they value themselves. Women are naturally drawn to confident guys, and to be confident, you normally need to value yourself first. How do you show a woman that you value yourself, though? Well, you show her by having your own purpose and showing her that you are not afraid to take charge and go after everything that you want in life. You should have your own opinions but be respectful of hers. You have what is called the dominant energy, which means you are always polite, but you don't shy away from saying what you think. Now, to a lady, this screams success, stability, strength, and happiness, which, once they have found in someone, well, they will keep coming back for more. Banter and teasing, having banter with a girl and teasing her a little helps to build that sexual tension between you both. This is obviously something you need if you want a woman to want you sexually. You need to make sure to always be respectful and not cross a line, but also show her that you are able to be funny around her. Girls want guys that make them laugh and that they can be flirty with, so show her this side of you, and she will definitely want you. Women want to be slightly challenged when they are interacting with guys, they don't want it to be easy, which is why they like to be teased and why they admire the bad boys. You can say something along the lines of, are you flirting with me, 
and then wink, turn around, and walk away. These are all sly ways of showing her that you like her and you want to take things a little bit further. Build an emotional connection, guys often view sex as just sex. To girls, though, it's something that requires trust between two people. They are less willing to have one-night stands or sex with someone that they don't really know, whereas men are much more likely to do this. So, if you want to win a woman over sexually, then you need to build an emotional connection with her. That means getting vulnerable, asking her questions about herself, and then listening to those answers. If you can show her that she can be vulnerable around you, and you can build an emotional connection together, she is more likely to build trust in you and want to get physical. You need to make sure that it is a genuine emotional connection, though, because girls can really see straight through this type of thing. You need to flirt, making a lady want you sexually is so much more than simply just flirting, but you still have to do it. The best flirting happens in private, so try and get her alone before you start. If you don't flirt, then she might start to just see you as a friend, and you don't want to end up in that friend zone. So, try to pull her away from her friends if she's with them, and turn up the flirting. Remember, great flirting starts with a good, unique compliment. Don't be too clingy, it's nice that you like her, and you want to spend time with her, but you need to remember not to be too clingy. It's not something that she will be attracted to because it will make you look desperate. Remember that she is not your girlfriend yet, she is someone that you want to win over, so you need to put that best foot forward. Show her that you are interested in her, but don't turn into someone who's acting clingy or possessive. This tip's very important. Give her space to miss you, sticking to that theme of being clingy, you need to give her space to miss you. When you guys are not together, you want her to be thinking about you because that is what helps build that sexual tension. So, try not to be texting her and phoning her all the time. You need to let her take the lead and text you sometimes. She should also be the one to sometimes arrange the dates and not just leave it all up to you. Basically, you want to give her some of your attention, but you want her to give you some back. Just take a few steps back and don't think that if you are not texting her 24-7 that she will find another person, because the truth is, she's probably thinking about you anyway. Create a sexual atmosphere at the very beginning, a great way to test the water and see how she really feels is to mention sex and see how she reacts. She might blush, brush it off, or even ask you to not mention it again. At least then you know where she stands, and you need to know if you guys are on the same page, right? This also shows her from the very beginning that you want more than a friendship, that you want to date her and have a sexual relationship with her. She might then start thinking about you differently, and it could completely transform the relationship. Make sure, though, that you are not pressuring her into sex when she might not want to do it. You want to mention it, but if she does not seem interested, then back off and wait for her to come to you if she wants to. Make yourself her exciting secret, girls really, really love it when a guy is their exciting secret. If you are flirting with her in private and telling her how you feel when no one else is around, then it helps to create that secret relationship, which really excites the ladies. You want to become a part of her life and someone that she turns to when she wants to speak to someone. You want to create that close, secret relationship that she just cannot resist being involved in. So, try texting her at night and taking her aside at a party. This will create a secret romance, and she will want to be involved in it all of the time. Encourage flirting over text, the best time to encourage flirting over text is at night time. You can message her late at night and start getting flirty. It will really make her feel excited, and well, she's going to think about you in a sexy way. This will help to build up that sexual tension, and when you see each other again in person, she will probably mention sex almost straight away. Flirting over text and sending those dirty, cheeky text messages makes a girl feel like she's in control but also gets her excited for what is to come. So, don't shy away from it. Ask her out, you've put in a lot of hard work, and now is your time to ask her out so that you make your physical moves. You could ask her out over a text message, over the phone, or in person, and at this point, she will be so happy that you have both finally reached this stage. Plan a romantic date, okay, she said yes. Now, do not drop the ball when it comes to planning the date. You want her to want you sexually, and as I mentioned at the start of the video, girls need an emotional connection and they need trust if they are going to get close to a guy. So, you need to take her on a nice date, and for the first one, it should probably be out for dinner. You can pick a nice restaurant and try to book a table that is in a more private, secluded area so that you guys can both flirt in private, with no one watching you. After the date, 
you need to continue doing these steps, and eventually, she will not be able to resist any longer, and well, she will really, really want you sexually. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Girls do this when flirting with a guy they think is good looking. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Have you ever noticed certain behaviors from girls that make you wonder if they're just being friendly or if there's more to it? Today, we're diving into the flirtatious world of attraction, specifically what girls do when they're flirting with a guy they find good looking. We'll explore those little actions and subtle hints that might be easy to miss but speak volumes about her interest in you. Before we go on, if you're curious about improving your dating skills, why not book a free 60-minute strategy call with one of our coaches? Just click the link below. Now, let's get into it. Strategic awkwardness. Now I know what you're thinking, awkwardness is the last thing you want in a flirty encounter, right? But hear me out, because a little bit of deliberate awkwardness can actually work wonders when it comes to building attraction. You see, when a girl is feeling nervous or unsure around a guy she likes, she might start to exhibit some slightly awkward behaviors. Maybe she'll stumble over her words a bit or accidentally knock over her drink. But here's the thing, these little moments of awkwardness aren't actually mistakes, they're carefully crafted opportunities for you to swoop in and save the day. By creating these small awkward moments, she's giving you the chance to show off your confidence and charm. If you can smoothly recover from a spilled drink or a fumbled sentence, you'll instantly prove that you're the kind of guy who can handle anything that comes his way. Plus, these moments of shared awkwardness create a sense of intimacy and connection between you and her. It's like you're both in on a little secret, and that can be incredibly bonding. So, the next time a girl seems to be a little bit awkward around you, don't write her off as a lost cause. Instead, see it as an opportunity to step up and show her what you're made of. Strategic interruptions, this is a technique that women use to create physical contact and build intimacy in a way that feels natural and unforced. Here's how it works, when you're deep in conversation with a girl, she might suddenly interrupt you by touching your arm or shoulder. It's like she's so excited about what you're saying that she just can't help but reach out and make contact. Now, on the surface, this might seem like a purely friendly gesture, but trust me, there's more to it than meets the eye. When a girl interrupts you with a touch, she's sending a clear signal that she's comfortable being physical with you, and that's a big deal when it comes to flirting. Plus, these little interruptions create a sense of intimacy and connection between you and her. It's like she's saying, I'm so into this conversation that I just can't keep my hands to myself. Of course, it's important to read her body language and make sure that she's comfortable with physical contact before you reciprocate, but if she seems open to it, don't be afraid to return the favor with a light touch of your own. Soft gaze lowering, this is a technique that women have been using for centuries to signal their interest and create a sense of intimacy with a potential partner. Here's how it works, when you're talking to a girl, she might suddenly lower her gaze for a moment before looking back up at you through her lashes. It's a subtle move, but it's incredibly powerful. You see, when a girl lowers her gaze like this, it's a sign of vulnerability and submission. She's essentially saying, I trust you enough to take my eyes off you for a moment, and that's a big deal in the world of flirting. Plus, when she looks back up at you through her lashes, it creates a sense of intimacy and connection. It's like she's inviting you into her world and giving you a glimpse of her true self. Now, it's important to note that not all gaze lowering is created equal. If a girl is constantly looking down or avoiding eye contact altogether, that's probably a sign that she's not interested. But if she's giving you those soft, flirty glances, that's a clear green light to keep the conversation going. Artful ignorance, this is when a girl pretends not to know something in order to give you the opportunity to teach or explain it to her. Now, I know what you're thinking, isn't playing dumb a bit of a turnoff? And sure, if a girl is constantly acting like she doesn't know anything, that can get old fast. But when used sparingly and strategically, artful ignorance can be a powerful flirting tool. You see, when a girl asks you to explain something to her, she's essentially giving you the chance to show off your knowledge and expertise. And let's be real, there's nothing sexier than a man who knows his stuff. Plus, when you're teaching her something new, it creates a sense of intimacy and connection between you. It's like you're letting her into your world and sharing a part of yourself with her. 
Of course, it's important to make sure that you're not mansplaining or talking down to her, but if you can strike the right balance between confidence and humility, artful ignorance can be a great way to build attraction and keep the conversation flowing. So, the next time a girl seems confused about something, don't be afraid to step up and offer your wisdom. You might just be surprised at how much she appreciates it. Are you inspired by today's video? Take the next step and book a free strategy call. This isn't just about basic dating tips, it's about building a foundation for genuine and confident interactions with women. You'll learn from seasoned coaches who understand the nuances of dating and can guide you towards making lasting impressions. Reserve your free call by clicking the link in the pinned comment. Haptic signaling with objects, alright, let's talk about a flirting technique that's a little bit more advanced, haptic signaling with objects. This is when a girl uses her hands and the way she interacts with objects to send subtle messages about her interest and attraction. For example, let's say you're out at a bar and you notice a girl playing with her straw in a particularly sensual way. She might be running her fingers up and down the straw or even putting it in her mouth and biting down gently. This is a clear sign that she's feeling flirty and wants to draw your attention to her lips. Or maybe you're at a restaurant and you notice a girl handling her menu in a delicate, almost sensual way. She might be running her fingers along the edges of the pages or even tracing the words with her fingertips. This is a way of showing you that she's in touch with her senses and knows how to appreciate the finer things in life. Now, it's important to note that not all object play is necessarily flirtatious. Sometimes people just fidget with things when they're nervous or bored. But if you notice a girl consistently using objects in a sensual or suggestive way, that's definitely a sign that she's trying to catch your eye. So, the next time you're out and about, pay attention to the way the women around you are interacting with objects. You might just pick up on some subtle cues that could lead to something more. Intentional forgetting, next up, let's talk about a flirting technique that's both clever and a little bit sneaky. This is when a girl accidentally leaves something behind in your presence, like a scarf or a phone, in order to create an excuse to see you again. Now, I know what you're thinking, isn't that a bit manipulative? And sure, if a girl is constantly leaving things behind and expecting you to be her personal lost and found, that's not cool. But when used sparingly and with good intentions, intentional forgetting can be a cute way to keep the conversation going. Think about it, if a girl leaves her scarf at your place, she's essentially giving you a reason to reach out and return it to her. And when you do, you'll have the perfect opportunity to ask her out for coffee or dinner. Plus, intentional forgetting shows that she's thinking about you even when you're not around. It's like she's leaving a little piece of herself behind, just to make sure you don't forget about her. Of course, it's important to make sure that you're not reading too much into things, sometimes people just forget stuff, and it doesn't necessarily mean they're into you. But if you notice a girl constantly leaving things behind in your presence, it's definitely worth paying attention to. Dramatic pauses in speech, alright, let's talk about one final flirting technique that's sure to leave you intrigued, dramatic pauses in speech. This is when a girl uses strategic pauses and silences in conversation to create a sense of anticipation and tension. Here's how it works, when you're talking to a girl and she's really into you, she might start to slow down her speech and add in some dramatic pauses. It's like she's savoring every word and letting the tension build between you. For example, she might say something like, I had the most amazing time last night with you. That pause in the middle is a way of drawing you in and making you hang on her every word. Or maybe she'll ask you a question and then pause for a few seconds before answering it herself. This is a way of creating a sense of intimacy and connection, like you're both in on a secret that no one else knows about. Now, it's important to note that not all pauses are created equal. If a girl is constantly trailing off or seeming unsure of what she wants to say, that's probably a sign of nervousness or disinterest. But if she's using pauses strategically and with confidence, that's a clear sign that she's trying to create a sense of chemistry between you.